Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with mysticgenmara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today I would like to do the reading for the month of February for the fire signs of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. I prefer working with the elemental energies. Uh, it's just how I learned <laughs> first. So the zodiac is not something I'm very um, familiar with, and I'm trying to expand that knowledge. But the elemental energies actually support the zodiac, so that's where I go with that. Uh, if these readings work or resonate with you, then that message is obviously for you. If it doesn't, it's for someone else within the uh, fire sign community uh, to hear and if you're interested in what decks I am using they're all linked in, a dis in the description box below if you enjoy this type of content please comment and let me know what you think um, like the video and share it if it's if you feel someone else could get um, some information or some benefit from it with that I like to read by the month and or by the week by the month. Um, <laughs> February um, has technically exactly four we weeks, four seven day periods, which is, you know, 28 days. But the way it's broke up, because I read Sunday through Saturday. Uh, so what we will be doing is approximately a five week window. Uh, so you'll get actually five weekly readings versus four. And each week I like to pull for a guide or guardian, a message from source, and then a lesson or a challenge uh, from the tarot. And the lesson or challenge is something that you can work on in your journaling, in your life. It could be something that pops up that week that is basically saying, pay attention to me, we need to heal this. So uh, it's how I've kind of read for these. So let's get started with week one for February for fire signs in 2023. Still not used to saying that. Your first week guide or guardian for fire signs is courage and bravery from the angel oracle deck or angel guide deck. So this first week is saying you have the angels of um, courage and bravery. So this is telling you that it's time to step forward, to really be in your authority and don't be afraid. Like these angels are coming forward saying, let's work through some of the fears that you may have of stepping out within your employment, stepping out in a relationship. And I mean, stepping out as in going out and actually looking for one. Um, and if you're inside of one, it may be the option to speak up. But this angel is coming up to say, you have the courage inside of you, which is going to reveal itself in a form of bravery. And this is the time to really start to do that. So during this first week, work with the energy of standing in your truth and standing in your authority because you have the angels of courage and bravery that are going to help you work with that energy um, very greatly this first week. So your message from source is from the shaman's dream oracle deck and it is a tidy house clarity and organization and so your guides are telling you that they're going to work with you on courage and bravery and your message from source is it's time to do some house cleaning whether that's up here if or in the you know your <laughs> the uh, environment in which you live your home your even maybe employment but it's time to straighten things up, clean stuff up. If it's cluttered, maybe break down the clutter a little bit and do some organizing this first week. But it's also saying that the clutter could be in your mind, having too many irons in the fire, having too many thoughts that you're thinking about, things that you're trying to understand, work out, learn, that's where I get sometimes, and you're, you're getting it jumbled. This card is saying, your message from source, calm down, spread it out, organize it a little bit better and you'll be surprised how much more you can accomplish by doing that. So let's look at your uh, challenge or lesson from the tarot and I'm using the fairy tarot today. And 
we have the Four of Spring. Be grateful you have much to celebrate, deep feelings of peace and happiness, and a contented personal life. So you've got the guide or guardian coming in with courage and bravery, which means there's going to be something that you're going to have to step up and set your boundaries and maybe push beyond uh, where you th your limitations. Your message from source is saying, work on some organization, maybe decluttering your mind, your environment, because usually if you declutter one, the other one declutters as well. So <laughs> work on doing some of that energy. And the first spring is saying, your challenge is to understand where you're at right now is where you're meant to be. You've come a long ways and looking back, you can see the hiccups, the bumps, the, the issues that have occurred. And this card is saying, learn to be grateful for those lessons that revealed themselves as trials, as tribulations, as frustration, and see them for the, ble the blessing that they really were. It may not seem like it in the moment, and even now, if you're coming off of one of those periods, you're going to hear this and be like, seriously, dude, that's not how this works. Give it a month. Give it a year. You're going to look back at those times and realize, oh, I needed to learn a lesson. And the universe was like, you're not listening, so here you go. And that's how it works. We live in a, a universe that is very, very, very literal. And if there is something that you're ignoring, and I'll, we all do it, I do it as well, so I'm not saying pointing fingers, but if you're ignoring something, the energy of the universe is going to put that thing back in, your, in front of you, possibly a little bit bigger, possibly a little bit more strict, each time until you're like, okay, what is it you're wanting to teach me here? You learn the lesson, the problem goes away. So the Four of Spring is saying, when you look at your history, don't look at those negatives as, I cannot believe I did that. Look at it as, oh, now I see why I needed that so that I could grow beyond it. And that's that um, being gratitude, grateful for things that have happened. And you've learned a lesson. That's something to celebrate. And really working with that type of energy in this first week. So let's hop on to the second week, guide or guardian. It just depends on what you're used to saying because I use both. So <laughs> uh, it's intuition and downloads. So these are the angels that help you understand the things that are coming through. So during the first week, it's really about cleaning house, pushing beyond boundaries, and learning to look back at things from a more positive aspect, as in you learned lessons through challenge. This card is saying, now that you've done some housekeeping and house cleaning, fire signs, this card is saying, you've opened up, you've cleared out, now you've cleaned the channel between you and your higher self to God's source divine energy, and these angels are coming forward to say, you've done some clearing work, so now let's build the connection. Let's work on helping you tap into your intuitive state, the part of you that can actually understand and connect to your higher self, to God's source energy, and help you understand that you can live an entire existence from the state of intuition, and you're actually connecting in, you're going to start to see patterns easier. You're see, you'll see the next step easier. You're not going to, you may see down the road, but you're not going to see every step in that path. You see the next step. And the intuit intuitive side of that and the downloads are how you understand and comprehend that next step. So that's the angels that are coming forward for the second week for fire. And your message from source for the second week is straddling the worlds, wandering between the realms. So what you're doing when you're bringing in intuition and you're getting the spiritual downloads is you're actually opening a doorway so to speak, uh, that allows you to access these other realms. And in the pagan community, especially in the uh, esoteric version of it, Wicca and ceremonial magicians and things, they use the term a lot that you're straddling worlds when you do a ritual. You have one foot here in this dimension or realm, but you're stepping across a boundary into the other side. And in a, in a religious term, when you pray, you're actually opening up a connection and a portal to the divine. If you work with um, like a galactic council, the 
the space beings, you're spanning planetary galaxies and sometimes universes to connect. And so what this card is saying, your message from sources, this is something that you have been doing for years. You didn't understand it. You have the intuition and download angels coming in saying, let's work on these connections because this is what you you do. This is just part of who we are as people. We have right little radio antennas right in here that allow us to communicate. And this card is saying, now you're going to, now's the time to start really becoming more aware of that straddling the worlds, of stepping between different realms of thought and emotion. So that's your message from source. And your lesson or challenge from the tarot is the King of Autumn, compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, and gifted. Be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. Everything is going your way and a good person or company to work for. The King of Autumn is the final king, uh, final card in the Autumn section, which is more tied to um, the Earth element. So it would be the coins in traditional tarot and or the pentacles. And what they're saying is, You've come a very, very long way in your life. You have accomplished in the physical world a great deal, but you're coming to the end of a, uh, a channel, a path of learning, a path of working. There's basically you set a goal, you're at the end of that goal. So now it's time to reevaluate. You've learned a lot. You've un started to understand compassion. You've started to feel more accomplished because you're at the end. You've completed this, this goal. You have another one coming up, but you've completed this one <laughs> and you've learned how to use charisma. You've learned how to understand the gifts that you have learned and um, received along the way. Some of those have come through challenge, but that's how we grow as beings. You don't grow from having everything handed to you. You grow from a pushback, a little bit of a challenge. It's that uh, positive negative of the magnet. You have to have the both elemental or both energies for expansion to occur. And that's what this card is saying is you're at the end of a cycle. You've completed one journey and now there's another one ready to start up. So to look at how far you've come, but also to look forward into what's coming up next is the second week. So let's hop over to the third week and your guide or guardian is blessings and abundance. So this ties right into that second week energy because you're working, you've done the work of stepping beyond, clearing out, you have tapped more into your intuition in the second week and your third week is you're doing the clearing out. You've done the learning to stand between worlds you're understanding that you have come to the end of a cycle. You've been looking back to see how far you've come. The reason is in this third week, you have the energy of blessings and abundance coming forward. And these angels are here to help you understand where you're at is actually a huge blessing in life. You have stepped beyond in a lot of ways where you were. And that changes a lot. When you start to understand that where you're at now, you might be going through a struggle and I understand that but if you look at that struggle as what is this teaching me what can I learn how can I turn this trial into a blessing you shift your awareness from a problem to a solution and that's what these angels are coming in to say is blessings and abundance are more of a mindset I know that sounds like some yuppie guru but it really does shift your when you shift your view of a situation you do shift the energy within it and that's when you start noticing the solutions not the problems and so that's what the angels coming in this third week are all about so let's look at the message from source and that is the six card 61 whale song resonating so you have the blessings and abundance angels coming in, helping you understand the shifting of a vibration of a thought form into something from a trial to a lesson, from a problem to a solution. And what you're doing is, this card is saying, you're resonating, you're shifting your vibration, you're shifting shifting your resonance. Um, they use that in uh, 
music therapy with tuning forks, where you're shifting and readjusting the vibration within the body by using a tuning fork. Sound therapy, um, song baths where they do like singing bowls and bells and chimes and it helps you readjust your vibrational pattern because we're all vibrational beings and the message that I'm getting is to find even if it's on just like a YouTube or an Odyssey or a Rumble channel a recording of whale song because when they sing they actually sing in pitched vibrations obviously it's communication but it it's not just their communication it actually has an effect on the human psyche so maybe this third week they're, what they're saying is to find something with whale song and listen to that or listen to sounds from the ocean because it does have a surprisingly calming effect on the mind and that is how you get into the state of meditation is by calming the mind when when you get into that state of meditation you can adjust your frequency your energy field easier working with the angels of blessings and abundance so let's look at your challenge or lesson from the tarot it's the eight of spring stress that comes from having many things happening at once successful multitasking and sudden events or changes so you're working with the energies of blessings and abundance you're learning to resonate at a different frequency higher frequency and the reason is your lesson or challenge you have a lot of things going on you've cleared out a bunch of stuff but you still are juggling you know just like the fairy is here she's juggling little light balls and what it's saying this card is saying is once you start to change your resonance your ability to juggle these things is going to improve but it's also going to you're going to pick certain ones that are like this just doesn't work and you're going to toss it over your shoulder because you don't need it anymore so this card is saying your multitasking is going to get better but it's also because you're going to thin out the things that are not working anymore so you've got this uh, you're still going through growth period fire signs which we all do this card's just saying <laughs> you you came to an end of a cycle but you're not done yet so you're starting a new cycle and let's hop over to the fourth week and this is the clear cancel release angels so your challenge from the third week is learning how to multitask and maybe clearing out some things that aren't working and now you're in the fourth week and the angel that actually came forward the angel class that's helping you is the clear cancel and release and that's where you take that 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 uh, juggling ball from the multitasking and you clear it throw it over your shoulder you cancel its energy within your field and you release it you go over their energy and you get away from me and you're working with the angels with on this fourth week and these angels are working directly with your guides they're working with your guardians and they're working with God source divine energy to help you understand this may not be the best thing for you let it go clear it out allow your energy field to cancel that vibration so it can't come back and then release the emotions that are still in your mind about it and that's what these angels are here for is to help you clear out the stuff that's in your energy field you don't need cancel that vibration within your field and then release the emotions attached to it you'll still have the lessons you're still going to have those memories but you're not going to have that emotional energetic attachment to that situation and that's what these angels are helping with so your message from source is number 15 the dust devil moving out of stagnation as you're clearing you're canceling and you're releasing you're shaking up your energy field you are starting to correct the spin it might be a little bit slow it might even have come to a stall or a hiccup trying to go backwards and this is saying it's time to recorrect your spin this is getting you going again and that's what this month has really been looking like is you've got this courage to step out of the funk that you may have been in you're working with the angels to help your intuition you're bringing in the energy of a uh, blessings and abundance you're releasing the negatives and the reason is is it's time to start moving again it's time to start going we're moving out of the cold slow winter energy into the vibrant more active spring energy 
and we're getting more into the energy of fires seasons and time frame and the dust devil is coming up to say it's time to get moving it's time to get going and your message from source really is this is a time towards the end of February for things to start happening and for you to step more into your authority as a spiritual being who's got some stuff to do so uh, let's look at your challenge from the tarot or your lesson it is the two of autumn bring fun into everything you do juggling multiple priorities or jobs and an exceptional talent for multitasking so this last half of February for fire signs is really saying your challenge is how do you juggle all of your parts of your life work family spiritual you're you're they're saying that you have the capability and that you're good at it but these cards are coming up for your challenges and your lessons are saying now it's time to start evaluating do you really need to keep 12 aspects juggling at the same time do you still need to have all of them they're saying your multitasking is fine but it's time to prioritize multitasking by adding in oh I need to add this one more project in is that really beneficial is it really helping you long term fire signs love activity but there's also a point where you go from being active to just to being frustrated because you're constantly juggling and you're not completing anything and that's what these last two lessons and challenges have come up for is to really sort through the stuff you've got going on and figure out do you need it if not over the shoulder <laughs> and work on clearing some of that energy out so let's see what this fifth week is a fifth calendar week and it is the yes angels these are the angels that are very supportive they come forward to help you when you're struggling you're kind of feeling down you're maybe maybe going through what's happened this month with the clearing energy and you have all these uh, angels coming up and saying or the fairies coming up and saying dude enough with the multitasking thin out thin out what you're juggling you only need a couple of things not 25 and that might be a little disheartening especially for active fire who wants to be up and doing and going and carrying on and this angel saying it, it's okay we're here to help you we'll help you sort through this we'll help you keep going the important stuff we're not asking you to get rid of we're asking you to take the thing that in the past may have been important but is now not serving you and it's not helping you and let's get rid of that so you have a, an affirming group of angels coming in this fifth week to really support you as you're moving through these shifts in energy and let's look at your message from source for the fifth week fire signs there we go and it is the benefactor grace and generosity card number three little mouse mice in a mushroom so when you start to work through this energy and you start to clear things out it allows you to be more present it also allows you to work with others in a more aware state in a more focused state you can give more of your attention to the projects that you're still juggling and you have the beneficial angels coming forward to support you the yes angels and you're working as a benefactor so yeah you're clearing some things out and it's because the stuff that you're still holding on to is needing a little bit more attention and that's where the benefactor comes in either you're going to be the benefactor you're going to be teaching guiding and supporting the someone or else or you might be inviting by clearing things out someone who's going to help you work through some of these challenges or um, trials that are coming up they're saying they're being really focused this is a work related thing so this fifth week maybe just be more aware of what's going on at work either if you can help somebody else or that someone's coming in and don't turn away their help for this fifth week and that could be that learning to say yes too. you have the angels that are positive and they might be coming in to say you can it's okay to say yes when someone offers help and your challenge or your lesson for the final week of February is the number one, the Magician card. This is a major arcana card. So these are cards that are life lessons. These are big shifts in your awareness. And the Magician has the message, you can take anything. Take charge of your life, you can do anything. 
um, you can manifest what you need to be a success. This is the beginning of a new journey. There's a new path. You've learned some new lessons. You've acquired some new tools. You have put away childish things. And that doesn't mean that it was something a little kiddish, but you have grown beyond those uh what we would call toys or tools, but you've stepped beyond that. You've grown out. You've outgrown them. That doesn't mean that they weren't important at the time. They're not important anymore. And the message from, or the lesson, or the challenge is, you've got the new, all these new tools. The original uh, magician card had all the elements: earth, air, fire, water, air, as an uh, represented on it. And so does this one to a point. But. What it's saying is you have the skills, you have the sword, the athame of truth, you have the wand of fire, you have the cup of water, your emotions, and you have the coins of earth coming up in the magician and it's saying you have the knowledge in a lot of different areas. You have come beyond the basics and now it's time to step forward on the path the walking stick is saying I have whoops, a long journey ahead and you've got this path going up to the tower so you've got a you've got a path of understanding and knowledge when you reach the tower you're doing a reset you're doing an adjustment so but you're not there you're at the beginning you're stepping foot onto this new path you've got all these new tools and tricks and that's what this card is saying is it's time to step forward into that next frequency so the end of the month looks like it is uh, moving upwards for you to start off a little uh, interesting but it came out good so uh, I hope this reading resonates with you if you enjoy this type of reading um, drop a like on the video maybe subscribe to the channel if you are interested in commenting letting me know what your thoughts are even criticisms I will I appreciate all of that as long as we can be respectful that's all I've ever asked for and I will talk to you guys in a future video and have an awesome month